Hello, dear students. Uh, I hope you are doing all well during this time. Today's topic is a language review of what we have done during uh, this whole time about grammar and some vocabulary exercises. We are dealing today with, uh, uh, so we are revising the grammar once again, and we are going to do some exercises related to grammar and to vocabulary that we have done till now. Let's start, first of all, with the conditional. So the most important topic, uh, the grammar part, is the conditional. So as we previously said, uh, we have four conditionals, the zero, the first, the second, a third conditional. So firstly, the uh, zero conditional that expresses so a fact, a uh, scientific fact, uh, it is formed, uh, let's remember it, if plus the present simple, so the if part and the main clause present simple once again. The first conditional, if plus the present simple, so uh, the if clause and the main clause will plus the infinitive, so a verb in the infinitive. Uh, then we have the second conditional, the if clause plus the past simple plus would or could uh, plus a verb in the infinitive. Then we have uh, the third conditional. Now the third conditional, it expresses something impossible uh, to happen and uh, it is formed by if plus the past perfect, uh, plus, uh, so the if clause and plus would or could plus have plus the past participle. If we make together have plus the past participle, uh, it forms the, the uh, present perfect. Let's go on. Uh, this is all about the conditionals, so a small revision. Let's go on now with some exercises. So dealing with uh, the uh, grammar part, so uh, the, the conditionals. If we meet, so the first verb, it is given, if we meet at 9.30, we, uh, plenty of time, we will have, uh, it is the first conditional, we will have e Lisa would find, uh, would find, so we have now the second conditional because it is given would plus the infinitive, the milk, if she, uh, Looked, the past simple now, uh, looked in the fridge. Let's go on with the third sentence. Z the zookeeper would have punished. So it's the main clause and the if part is uh, next. Uh, would have punished, would have punished. So it is would plus have plus the past participle. Uh, we have the third conditional now. So the zookeeper would have punished her with a fine if she uh, had fed uh, the past perfect, uh, had fed the animals. Let's go. If you spoke, so we are in the past simple. In the past simple, if you see the second question, uh, is this as the same looked, uh, is in the past simple, and also here is spoke in the past simple. Um, if you spoke louder, your classmates uh, would understand you, would understand you, the second conditional. Then, uh, to arrive safe, if he drove slowly, drove is in the past simple, so the first uh, part, so the main clause, it is going to be would plus the infinitive, would arrive, uh, would arrive safe. Let's go on. There are also some other sentences about the conditional, so we have to practice uh, the conditional and the vocabulary exercises. You to have no trouble and, uh, at school if you had done. Had done, if, uh, it's the if clause, uh, so if plus the past, uh, past perfect. So the first part it is going to be, the, so the main clause it is going to be would plus have plus the past participle. So would uh, have had, would have had, uh, if you had, if you would uh, have had. Uh. Let's go on. 
If you do swim in the lake, uh, you will shiver from cold. You will shiver, will, uh, it's in the first condition also. If you swim, the first part, it is going to be in the present simple. If you swim in this lake, you will shiver from cold. Let's go. The door will unlock if you to press the green button. So will unlock as the first sentence. Uh, it's in the first conditional will plus a verb uh, in the infinitive. So if you press just the present simple, if you press the green button. If Mel to ask her teacher, he would have answered, he'd have answered uh, the question. We are here in the third conditional, so it is would plus have plus the past participle. So if Mel had asked, if Mel had asked the teacher, he would have answered. I, to call the office, if I was you, was in, is in the past simple. Uh, so we are dealing with the second conditional. I would call the office if I was you. Now we are going on with some vocabulary exercises. Uh, we dealt firstly with uh, vocabulary about accidents, we, uh, about injuries, about uh, cooking uh, verbs that we did, so melt the butter, peel the potatoes, etc. Now we are doing some exercises uh, about uh, the uh, injuries and even the accidents. Uh, the two uh, we have to choose. The two, so we have now the words here that are uh, theft, kidnap, uh, and we have to put them on the cor uh, correct order. So the two thieves stole a valuable painting and escaped uh, from uh, the in a black car. The girl kidnapped, uh, was kidnapped, the girl's kidnapped, said that he wanted uh, uh, 100,000 pounds to let her go. Now, the police arrested a man on the bus for, the words is pick, pick pocket, a uh, pick pocket. They found three wallets on him. The police arrested a man on the bus for pickpocketing. Okay, nice. Let's go on. Lots of bank, the word is uh, rob. Lots of banks, rob, have taken place in town lately. Lots of bank robberies have taken part uh, in town. Okay, the word is shoplift. Shoplift uh, is a big problem for supermarkets. Shop lifting. Shop lifting is a big problem. He's one of the most dangerous crime is the word. The word is crime. He's one of the most dangerous criminals in this prison. Now we are given some words and we have to put them in the correct order. Slipped, slipped uh, over a banana skin. Middle, ambulance, crash. Explain, bleeding, accident, uh, and jump. We have to put them in the, uh, where in the sentences given. The boy was standing in the middle of the room. Where? In the middle of the room. Your nose is what can a nose be bleeding? What has happened? What has happened to you that your nose is bleeding? Bill and fell down the stairs. What? He fell down of the stairs. What can he, what can, has happened? He slipped uh, and fell down of the stairs. Uh, he slipped uh, and maybe the floor was wet and he slipped. Stella's father had a car. Car what? Car. 
car accident uh, yesterday. He crashed into a wall. So Stella's father had a car accident yesterday. Uh, he crashed into a wall. Alex off a chair and broke his leg. What? Uh, he may what? Sleep? Middle? No, he cannot middle. Ambulance crashed. We did the uh, crashed. He jumped uh, off a chair and broke his leg. And the last one that uh, is left, of course, they called for an ambulance uh, and took Tony to hospital. So the last one, of course, is the word <laughs> that uh, was not used and was ambulance. Now we have the cooking verbs uh, that we dealt uh, even on the last uh, time. The carrot, the carrot into small circles. What? We have to chop the carrots into small circles. Lasagne, the lasagne for 30 minutes in the oven, in the oven. In the oven we have to bake them, uh, of course. Mix, bake or boil, it is bake. The onion and throw away the skin. What can we make the onion? We can chop it or we can peel it. Uh, let's see, so fry, stir and peel. So we have to peel the onion and take uh, away the skin, throw away the skin. Steal the onion until it is soft and brown. So the onion has to be brown where? We have to fry the onion, so it has to be uh, brown and then our mother <laughs> cooks it for, uh, in something. So pour, bake or fry. So we have to fry the onion until it is brown. So we have then to make uh, something. Constantly the mixture using a wooden spoon. So we have to mix, uh, steer, so the mixture and uh, using a wooden spoon. That was all for uh, today's lesson. It was some uh, revision about vocabulary, about uh, grammar part. Uh, thank you.